Dale Robertson appeared in 60 films and more than 430 television episodes, but he always called Oklahoma home. With his ruggedly handsome looks and distinctive voice, Robertson was a star in television and movie westerns during an acting career that spanned six decades. Dale Robertson was born in Hera in 1923. He was wounded twice and awarded bronze and silver stars and the Purple Thank Heart during much. World War II. Hello, Movie talent scouts took notice of him when a portrait made for his mother wound up in a Hollywood photography studio. I never did even see the picture. I just saw the proof. Uh -huh. And then I, I started getting letters when I was overseas from people in Hollywood wanting me to come out there to make a screen test, which I was all for it, but Uncle Sam wasn't too interested in <laughs> my career. In the late 50s, Robertson jumped to television, where he starred in Tales of Wells Fargo, Iron Horse, and Death Valley Days. Roles in Dallas and Dynasty followed. Robertson was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum and played his final role in 1993 before returning to Oklahoma and the life of a rancher in Yukon. In 1989, Robertson introduced the first episode of the OETA series, Oklahoma Passage. Uh. I'm Dale Robertson. As an Oklahoman, I'm particularly pleased to introduce the first episode in the five-part series celebrating our past, Oklahoma Passage. It's the story of flesh and blood people whose lives are intertwined with the history of the Indian Territory and Oklahoma. Dale Robertson recently moved to San Diego, and that's where he died on Tuesday from complications of lung cancer and pneumonia at the age of 89. A memorial service will be held in a few weeks.